All right, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. So I want to look at what's the quickest way to leave Silva. And so I put together this video on how to get off Silva the absolute fastest you can. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so let's say you want to get off Silva uh, relatively quickly, right? So what, what is the minimum number of bytes that it takes to get off Silva? Well, you only re really need 2,250 bytes, 2,250 bytes. What that gives you is the small shuttle, the solid fuel thruster, and the smelter. That's all you need to get off of Silva. But what's the best way to achieve that? So, you know, after you land on the planet and you unpack your stuff and you get it all set up, get some resources for a couple containers and and enough for like a couple tethers. You know, maybe like four or five tether bundles is what you really need to get started off. And then head for the hills. And I like heading for the hills because on the hills, there's those little rock researches, which has those uh, research items attached to the rocks. Those are actually really good. They're, they're not as good as the ones that are in the caves, but they're much better than just the ones that are attached to the plants. So I like to head off up into the hills and search for those little rock research items. And I make sure that I keep a nice tether line going and make a path to all of these little rock bundles. Because what's going to happen is, is as you're collecting these rock bundles, you're going to go ahead and you're going to run back, back to your base at some point in time. Maybe, maybe, you know, while you're out there, you find yourself some malachite or you find yourself some... I don't know, maybe some, some clay or something. You know, as you come across these resources, you definitely want to gather at least one or two of them just to have them laying around. But as you go back and forth on that tether line, maybe every 10 minutes, you're going to get a respawn of these resources. So don't ignore the plant research. Make sure that you get the plant research as you go along because that's important too. That's important to your bite count. You'll wind up getting these bites as you're going along. And, and you can go off in several different directions with your tether line. I think, you know, ultimately in this particular game, I went off two different main directions with my tether lines and found enough research going back and forth on the tether lines within a half an hour to get enough bites to be able to launch and leave Silva. So, you know... It, at that point in time, once you get the bytes up, now I'm I'm a big fan of having the platform B. Platform A really doesn't work for me. So there's a couple other additional, you know, optional items that you can wind up getting before you leave Silva. But you know, the the lowest 2250 bytes, 2250 bytes. But since I like that platform B to build my base pieces on, I, I added another 500 bytes to it, right? So that jumps the total up to 2750. And that's okay because 2750 is, you know, not that far off from 2250 bytes. So, you know, just continue to keep running this tether line and you'll wind up finding I didn't do any digging at all. I did not go down into the cave system to find the bytes that I needed to get off of Silva. I stayed solely on the top of Silva, solely gathering those research items off of plants, off of um, the rocks, and anywhere I could find those research items. There was actually, it was kind of weird because I actually found a rock on the green grass area growing research, which was kind of cool because I just went back and forth. You know, as you're out there doing these runs, looking for these research items pick up other little stuff along the way you come across power grab you know on some sort of downed vehicle or some down platform grab it you know grab it take it you know do whatever you got to do just nab whatever you can nab along the way um i don't say go overboard because it's going to slow you down but if you have the opportunity to pick up something pick it up and bring it back to your base as you're running back and forth Again, once you quickly get up to that, start unlocking those items. So unlock your platform if you're going to go with the optional platform B, unlock the smelter, and then unlock the shuttle and the solid fuel thruster. Once you have all those unlocked, start gathering resources to build these things because you're going to need the resources to build it. This is when I actually took the time to punch into the ground and 
and open up a hole to get the resources that I needed to um, build the shuttle, which is, you know, I'm going to need laterite. So, and I need to smelt that down into aluminum. I also needed the ammonium. So I, I wound up throwing a tether line off into the forest and found some ammonium to be able to make that solid field thruster. Remember, I don't have a soil centrifuge or any of that stuff. This is all solely off of this one base building item, which is the smelter. So while you're down in the caves and you're looking in the caves for resources that you might need, make sure to grab research so if you see more research on rocks make sure to grab it explode some plants that are trying to kill you those little gas puffer plants make sure you knock those guys out get any research that you come along um while you're in the caves i mean don't go out of the way to get it if it's in if it's in your path pick it up for sure and remember it's always going to respawn because these are renewable research items so go down get your laterite that you're going to need Get the research while you're down there. Go up, find yourself some ammonium that you're gonna need, you know, and as you're doing this, make sure you're building off the base pieces. Hopefully, you found along the way some sort of power on a platform or on a rover or something like that to help you, you know, supplement your power so you're not having to go and run a generator. But then turn around and make everything. And then that's it. You're off, you're off. And when you're off, you know, at this point in time, I mean, I know that this video is really about getting off of Silva, but once you're off of Silva, you know, the choices are unlimited at this point, right? You can go to any one of the other remaining planets or moons and you can play your game however you want to play your game. I personally like to go to Glacio first and only because the bites are so good there. You know, you can land on Glacio, you can run around relatively quickly. If you get up into the mountains, you can find research on rocks and uh, wind up just popping those open, those research items. And they're worth three times, four times as much as they are on Silva. So it's quick to get another five, 7,000 research bites to be able to unlock the rest of your base pieces and and also what's there is some you know some nice items there's some iron there and there's titanite there titanium there so it's it's you know great to go ahead and pick up a couple of those items while you're at it but you know while you're there and as you're gathering a ton of bites while you're there make sure that you unlock your packager because um graphite is abundant so you'll find patches of graphite all over the place Fill your backpack up with graphite, unlock the packager, and package up that research and then bring it back home. And then you're totally set. I, I you know, from that point on out, like I said, once you make that shuttle, it, it's completely up to you how you want to go with, you know, getting and playing the game and, and getting your research. But if you really want to kind of advance your game a little bit more quickly, just go to Glacio, stay on Glacio for like an hour, and you'll have enough bites to be able to unlock. Pretty much almost all the base building, definitely all the base building pieces, but then probably a lot of other key pieces in your um, research catalog to, to help you play the game. All right, well, that was my video on leaving Silva as quick as you possibly can. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribers, please subscribe. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find my links in the description below. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.